Hey y'all, Nikki Brown here. I just did a whole video and didn't realize that the camera wasn't on. <laughs> so basically what I was saying is, um, if you've been following me um, or if you watched any of my previous videos, you know that I used felt flour to make um, like pita bread or naan bread or tortilla type of bread, like a flat bread or unleavened bread. Um, and so um, I what I, my I, my thought process was to knead the bread or knead the dough and put it in the freezer um but then i thought hey this will be the perfect opportunity to make seitan um and i have not made anything from scratch in a while like not anything baked or like this anyway like a cake or something like that because you know if i want a cake i you know Although I haven't been eating cake or any, you know, sweets, I've really been doing really well. Um, but, you know, say this time last year, if I wanted a piece of cake, I would just go to a store and get a piece of cake, right? Um, so, I, I I think I had convinced myself for a little while that it looks complicated. But I don't think that, it's, that it looks complicated. It's just that I didn't want to, you know, do the work. Um, because you do have to knead the dough, um, which does take time, and it's no big deal. I don't mind spending the time to knead some dough, but because I already made bread, I was like, huh. So, you know, everything happens for a reason. I wanted to try and make the flatbread, and so and then I was like, wait a minute, maybe I can make some seitan. So, basically, what to make seitan, so I needed it for about five to ten minutes. So, then when you make seitan, you want to soak it. And basically, the goal is to get the starch out or to get the gluten out or some of the gluten out, right? Um, and so Typically, people will soak it in hot water for 30 minutes to an hour or two hours. I decided I'm just going to let it soak overnight. And so you can already see that the water is starting to get cloudy. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. If you can see that. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but I definitely noticed the difference from when I first put it in there. It is already a little bit cloudier. So I'm going to actually let this sit overnight, right? Um, I just put some water in there. Um, I'm going to put my lid on and I'm just going to let it sit in the fridge there overnight. Um, it's already like it's, you can move it around. So once you get ready to make the seitan, which is basically a meat substitute, um, using wheat flour instead of, um, maybe some of the other things that they use, um, um, so it's not gluten free because felt flour is basically um, a type of wheat flour essentially um, they, they, they consider it an ancient grain um, however it's still wheat so if you're gluten free if you're completely gluten, gluten free like if you have celiac disease or something like that this is not for you um, however um, I'm going to go through the process and make some seitan right um, again, I'm going to let it sit overnight in this bowl and I'm going to knead out or press out the gluten. So as you do this, the, the water is going to turn cloudier and cloudier. So my thought process is if I let it sit overnight, the process should be a little easier. Um, maybe not even easier, but just take a little bit long, uh, less time, but I'm not going to say this is a hard process. You just have to knead the dough. Um, and it's not such a big deal to knead the dough, but you know, we're accustomed to just going to the store to buy stuff, right? <laughs> so it's something different. Um, like I said, I haven't done made anything from scratch in quite some time. Um, so this is just something different, but I'm glad that I made the bread and that I, you know, cause again, I was just kneading the dough to put it in the freezer and I was like, wait, you can make some seitan. <laughs> So that's what I'm going to do with this next. I love that when you make certain things, you can always turn it into something else, right? Um, and that's the, the great thing about cooking um, yourself or cooking at home is that you don't have just one option. You're not limited to just one thing. You can turn one thing into multiple things, right? So this is what we're going to do tomorrow. I just wanted to get you all excited. I hope you're excited because I am. Yay. <laughs> all right, y'all. We're going to make our first attempt at making Satan. I'm excited. Ta-ta. 
Thank you for watching. Love y'all. Later.